Welcome to your daily Disney dose, where every sprinkle of pixie dust brings the magic of Disney right to your ears. In today's episode, we're journeying through a cavern of exciting updates from the enchanting realms of Disney parks and beyond. Prepare to embrace the spookiness early this year as we delve into the thrilling halfway to Halloween celebration at Disney parks. Are you feeling the chill in the air? It could be from the whispers of a frozen land potentially gracing Disneyland. Yes, let's unpack that icy prospect that's warming hearts already. Whether you're planning your summer getaway or just curious about the latest deals, we've got you on a magic carpet ride through Disneyland's can't-miss summer ticket offers. And raising a glass in recognition, we celebrate Club 33's Chef Gloria T for her inspiring achievements in a world typically garnished with toques and ties. Plus, brace yourself as we recount the shakeup at Disney parks from Southern California's recent earthquake, revealing Disney's exemplary emergency response that ensures the magic stays unbroken. And finally, we'll leap into hyperspace with the triumphant return of Star Wars. The Phantom Menace at the box office, a testament to the enduring power of the Force. Stay tuned as we bring the world of Disney to life through insights, stories, and a little bit of wonder. Let the magic begin. As springtime brings in a wave of warmer weather and longer days, Disney Parks has unboxed a delightful surprise for all the spooks and ghouls at heart the halfway to Halloween celebration. This seasonal spectacle is a nod to the eagerly anticipated autumnal festivities yet to come, and the anticipatory teaser posts fluttering across Instagram suggest tuning in today, Monday, May 6th, for some spine-tingling announcements. Previously, the Halfway to Halloween event has unfurled a tapestry of limited-time culinary concoctions and souvenir collectibles. It's a brief slice of the Halloween season carved out in spring, where the parks give a taste of the excitement due to unfold later in the year. You might recall the delight of biting into a pumpkin-flavored treat or the thrill of bringing home an exclusive piece of memorabilia. While specifics for this year's event are shrouded in as much mystery as a haunt in the Haunted Mansion, we can glean from ghostly whispers of the past that it typically serves as the advent to the announcement of event dates and ticket sales for esteemed events. We're talking about the family-friendly spectacle of Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party at Magic Kingdom and the Oogie Boogie Bash brimming with mischievous fun at Disney California Adventure. There's an air of suspense as we wonder what this year's celebration will introduce. Will there be new twists on classic treats or perhaps uniquely haunting merchandise to cherish? Decades of Disney's tradition of creating magical celebrations tell us that whatever is in store will undoubtedly be spellbinding. What we do know for certain is that the Halfway to Halloween event stands as an exciting prelude, a summoning of the spirits of Halloween future, and a fantastical reminder that Disney always has a trick or treat up its sleeve to ensure their guests are enthralled throughout the year. So keep those eyes peeled and ears open, the specters of surprise are just around the corner. Let us delve into the enchanting news that has everyone talking the prospect of a frozen-themed land gracing Disneyland in Anaheim. The whispers of Arendelle's magical gates opening on the West Coast have been around for some time, but Disney Parks Chairman Josh DeMero's latest remarks sprinkle a fresh layer of snow on the anticipation. Disneyland Forward is a significant leap for the House of Mouse, carving out space for new theme park experiences within its current property, and it's within this grand blueprint that Frozen finds a warm embrace. The project, which recently received a nod of approval from the Anaheim City Council, marks a colossal $60 billion theme park investment, leaving diehard Disney fans on the edge of their seats. At the forefront, a considerable $19 billion is earmarked to elevate the Disneyland Resort experience. DeMero, in his conversation with The Hollywood Reporter, highlighted the untouched narrative potential of Frozen in Southern California. And might I say, the possibility sparkles with as much excitement as the film's beloved anthem. While Frozen has yet to weave its magic within the Disneyland Resort directly, its frosty, fanciful lands have been threading through Disney parks globally, from Hong Kong Disneyland's recent World of Frozen to Tokyo Disneysea's upcoming Fantasy Springs, which includes a Frozen Kingdom set to open its doors this June. Frozen remains one of Disney's most profitable and adored franchises, with sequels continuing to bolster its legacy. It's no icicle-laden leap to believe the likelihood of Disneyland bringing the first full-fledged frozen land in the U.S. is more than just a snowball's chance in summer. 
The evidence chills with anticipation as Frozen constantly gets name-dropped amid Disney's expansion plans. With supportive statements from both Disney CEO Bob Iger and DeMero, and considering Frozen's enduring popularity, it seems a Frozen expansion into Disneyland may soon be more than just a fanciful dream. We may well hear the delightful official announcement in the near future, perhaps during the Walt Disney Company's quarter two earnings call or the D23 Expo in August. Until then, we can only imagine the shimmery spectacles and icy adventures that await us in what could become a reality Arendelle beckoning with open arms here in Anaheim. Summer is just around the corner, and Disneyland is ushering in the season with a ticket offer sure to entice families and Disney enthusiasts alike. Imagine this, children illuminating with joy as they step onto Main Street USA and adults capturing that special Disney magic, all at a more affordable price point than you might expect. This summer, the iconic theme park is introducing a three-day, one-park ticket deal priced at $149 for children that translates to just $50 per glorious Disney day. For adults, the magic comes at a rate of $83 per day, which is a total of $249 for the three-day experience. The tickets will be available for purchase starting May 29th and must be used on Mondays through Thursdays, anytime from June 10th through September 26, 2024. But the perks don't end there. One of the more flexible aspects of this deal is that these three-day passes need not be used on consecutive days, allowing guests to sprinkle a little Disney pixie dust into their summer at their convenience. For those who prefer the weekend buzz, there are also Friday through Sunday passes, though prices do slightly increase to $199 for children and $299 for adults. These offers present significant savings compared to the standard one-day ticket prices, which fluctuate between $104 and $194 throughout the week. Moreover, Southern California residents have an additional edge with a special until June 2nd. Their three-day ticket is priced at $225 for weekdays and $275 for any day of the week, an invitation to locals to rediscover the enchantment in their backyard. We must remember that all tickets require park reservations and are subject to availability. And looking back to Disneyland's opening in 1955, when tickets were just $2.50, it reminds us both of the park's enduring appeal and the evolution of entertainment value over the decades. Whether you're a longtime fan or planning your first Disney adventure, these summer ticket offers are a wallet-friendly way to create new memories at the happiest place on Earth. It's a charming reminder that sometimes the most magical experiences don't have to come with the highest price tag. In the luxurious and enigmatic world of Disneyland's Club 33, Chef Gloria T has cut through the culinary scene like a finely honed blade. As the first female chef de cuisine to helm Club 33's esteemed kitchen, T embodies not just exceptional talent, but a groundbreaking presence in a realm often dominated by her male counterparts. Rising above gender-defined roles, her craft speaks volumes, reverberating through the corridors of fine dining with every dish served. T's culinary journey is far from conventional. From early days of shaping hamburger patties to grasping the intricacies of Korean noodle preparation for her sister, her love for the kitchen craft was not realized in the classroom. Instead, it bloomed in the heat of professional kitchens, a path marked by hands on rigor rather than the structured walls of culinary school. It's this raw, relentless pursuit of gastronomic excellence that caught the eye of Disneyland culinary director Andrew Sutton, who recognized a kindred spirit, a prodigy in the culinary arts. Then there's 21 Royal, where Chef T commands the private dining experience with the poise and precision expected of a dinner party, bearing a price tag of $15,000. It's this exacting standard and alchemy of flavor, presentation, and ambience that renders each meal an unforgettable experience a testament to T's mastery. However, it's not just about exclusive dining experiences. T's recognition extends beyond the gilded walls of private clubs and into the heart of the Golden State itself. Celebrated as a Woman of the Year by the California State Assembly, T's influence stretches out, inspiring not just future chefs, but anyone daring to break through ceilings, glass, or otherwise. Integral to embracing her narrative is her mindset. T seeks to be lauded as a talented chef, period, not confined by the prefix of female. Herein lies the essence of her trailblazing journey, a legacy defined not by gender, but by the undeniable prowess she brings to California's culinary scene and the extraordinary experiences curated behind Club 33's discreetly marked door. 
In today's program, we find Disney's sunny California haven not untouched by the tremors of nature. Southern California experienced a moderate earthquake, leading to the temporary but impactful decision from Disney to halt the magic and ensure safety first as parks were evacuated. The quake, centered in the Santa Ana Mountains, reverberated across Orange and Riverside counties and far beyond, prompting a check for the well-being of Disney California Adventure and Disneyland. As the ground shook and the tremors subsided, Disney's immediate response was evident. For about three hours, the iconic gates were closed a rare sight indeed. Attractions ceased to move, and the usual bustle of joyous crowds became orderly streams of guests, calmly ushered by cast members as they followed the well-practiced protocols Disney has in place for such incidents. The park's rigorous safety measures were meticulously enacted, and each ride and structure underwent thorough inspections. Twitter and social media kept the public in the loop as the situation unfurled, showcasing Disney's transparent communication during such unforeseen events. This temporary closure wasn't without its silver lining. It was a testament to the company's unwavering commitment to guest and employee safety. When it was deemed that the happiest place on earth was indeed still happy and structurally sound, the park reopened, inviting back those yearning for escapism possibly now, with an even greater appreciation for the care that goes into their experience. Such resilience and swift action remind us that while the earth may shake, Disney's fortitude and preparedness stand unshaken. Truly, the enchantment of Disney lies not just in its stories and rides, but also in its ability to navigate the real-world challenges with grace and efficiency. This weekend, Star Wars fans across the globe experienced a triumphant blast from the past as Star Wars, Episode I The Phantom Menace returned to theaters in celebration of its 25th anniversary, a dazzling feat worthy of a Jedi celebratory parade. This cinematic gem, a cornerstone of the beloved franchise, hit an estimated $14.5 million at the global box office, an impressive haul that speaks volumes about its enduring legacy. A quarter century on and the force hasn't faltered. In the U.S. alone, the re-release took the silver spot at the box office with $81 million, gracing two 700 domestic theaters, including premium large format screens and specialty auditoriums equipped with motion D-Box and 4D technologies. To put these figures into perspective, last year's 40th anniversary re-release of Star Wars, Return of the Jedi garnered five $1 million, a testament to the growing evergreen appeal of these interstellar odysseys. Episode 1 showcases the origin story of Anakin Skywalker, setting the stage for his fateful transformation into Darth Vader. Directed by George Lucas and starring the likes of Liam Neeson, Ewan McGregor, and Natalie Portman, it shattered records upon its 1999 release and has continued to capture the imaginations of new generations, becoming an indelible part of popular culture. Complementing the film's re-release, moviegoers were treated to an exclusive sneak peek of the upcoming Disney Plus series, Star Wars, The Acolyte, set to premiere on June 4th. This delicious appetizer to the main cinematic course allowed fans to dive even deeper into the vast and rich Star Wars universe. Internationally, The Phantom Menace enthralled audiences across the UK, Germany, France, Spain, Australia, Japan, Mexico, and Brazil, among other markets, proving that the appeal of Star Wars transcends galaxies far, far away. Celebrating 25 years since its initial release, The Phantom Menace continues to wield its lightsaber with grace and might, forever changing the course of cinematic history. From pod racing to lightsaber duels, the legacy of The Phantom Menace endures as it lives on, streaming in homes worldwide on Disney+. As we draw this episode to a close, I want to thank you for joining me on today's magical carpet ride through the latest happenings around the Disney universe. We've conjured up quite the ensemble of enchanting news, from the spectacular halfway to Halloween celebration at Disney parks to the frosty whisperings of a frozen land making its way to Anaheim. We've seen ticket offers that indicated summer at Disneyland might just be within reach of more families this year, and tipped our hats to the culinary mastery of Chef Gloria T, a trailblazer at Club 33. The trembles of Southern California reminded us of the resilience of the Magic Kingdom, and the Force showed its enduring strength with the box office success of Star Wars, The Phantom Menace's anniversary re-release. 
Remember, magic is never too far away when you've got your daily Disney dose to keep you company. Be sure to visit us again for your next episode, where we will continue to sprinkle a little pixie dust on your day with more Disney news and tales. Until then, may your days be filled with fairy tales and fantastical adventures.